So I'm going to take you through one of my favorite practices for helping the neck if it's stiff, if you have chronic pain, or, you know, just as a daily mobility practice. I always like to begin with small circles, just exploring the natural range of motion without any kind of force or effort. I like to think of it like drawing circles with my nose. And all the while, breathing softly and deeply through the nose, in and out. And then go ahead and turn your head side to side and look over one shoulder and look over the other. See where there are areas that might feel sticky and tight, ear to shoulder, side to side. And then go ahead and take your ear to your shoulder and your hand will come over to the top of the head and we're gonna do some proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. So press your head into your hand gently with about 20% of your effort and hold. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then soften and relax into the stretch. And take a few deep breaths. We'll generally resist for eight seconds and soften for 30. And we'll do this three times. I like to practice ujjayi pranayam here, the victory breath, gently toning the back of the throat and creating the sound of the ocean. You can also play with the angle of the opposite arm, just seeing how you can create a little more space in the side of the neck. And slowly come up and take your hand to the same side of your head above your ear and press in a neutral position, isometric contraction and release. Take a few breaths here, neutral. And then I like to press the top of my head into my hand, lengthening towards the sky, and then come on to the other side. Again, press and hold, resist with about 20% of your effort, and then soften and relax into the stretch. Some sweet, deep breaths, nurturing and nourishing the whole side of the neck. And with every inhale, think of creating space. And with every exhale, think of creating softness. All the while, breathing deeply, inhaling and exhaling fully and completely. Again, you'll do that hold and press resist for eight seconds and stretch for 30 and then come back to center, reciprocal inhibition, press the same side of the head into the hand in a neutral position, hold 20% of your effort, resisting and release, come to the top of the head, do the same thing, lengthen the spine towards the sky, and then I like to take both hands to the back of my head and resist and press again, and then just go ahead and explore, see what has changed, what has shifted, what is opened or aligned. And then for final practice, I like to cross one forearm over the other and we're gonna just rotate the thoracic cage, moving side to side, keeping the gaze forward, the head in neutral. And I like to do this a few times with the breath, exhaling as you twist, inhaling as you come to center. Switch arms and go to the other side. Just exploring the thoracic movement here. We tend to get a little sticky in the backs of the ribs, the spaces between the scapula, especially if we tend to carry tension in our neck and upper body. 
These are my favorite ways to release tension, to maintain the benefits of your massage, and to just incorporate a little mobility work every day. So go ahead and let me know how this works for you. How does it make you feel? Uh, I like to close with some gentle traction. So I'll come into a Baddha Konasana with the soles of the feet touching. I'll interlace my fingers around my feet and then lean back and you'll feel a really beautiful stretch and traction in the tops of the shoulders. If you like, you can add a little more circling, a little more controlled articulate rotations, if you will, or cars as you explore the neck, the shoulders, and all of the muscles that help support you here. And go ahead and check one last time now your range. Has anything changed? Has any tension softened? Has it released or improved? I hope you've enjoyed this. Sending you so much love. Bye for now.